Welcome back everybody to the YouTube channel. Check out this bad boy. We are doing a 7,000 foot fully stucco house. Not really gonna go into the interior too much. It took me a while to try to figure out what I wanted to make the video on this place, but I am gonna do another stucco video. Just do some stucco finds, to walk around, and then I think we have one electrical find. So stay tuned and check out this house. Oh shoot, I don't know if you saw that, but a water drop actually just fell out right there. So I bet this stucco is just soaked. All right, so when inspecting stucco, if you have not done it before, I recommend EDI, it's Exterior Design Institute. It's a little bit expensive and a little bit outdated-ish when it comes to the learning material, but you will get some really good information to study stucco. This is not sponsored by them by any means. And then my father's course, he does not pay me to say this either, it's uh, Real Estate Training Systems. He has a good stucco class too as well and uh, he'll cover a lot of these things that you can see in the field. So anyways, let me show you some of the finds that we have out here and things you should be looking for when inspecting stucco. Okay, one of the first spots I noticed here was is we have this weird gutter system. And typically, if you have water moving behind stucco, you can develop some issues. So right here, you can see this gutter coming out of the stucco, so there's a some sort of trough inside here and it's pro it is leaking at the joint here and you can see it dripping the water dripping right behind the stucco so anytime you have water sitting behind stucco especially in houston texas you're going to get bulging rot rust and what they're going to have to do is they have to actually cut this stucco out reset the gutter reseal it and then re repair any of the rot they have and then reset the um, reset <laughs> reset the stucco so it is a, a long process this isn't just an easy repair seal, seal the leak because it, you have a lot of uh, damage behind this gutter system but one thing we're going to notice about all the windows is that there is no header flashing there's no flashing and it is required to be installed with most stucco applications even if the window is self-flashed you need a path for the water to drain uh, behind the stucco it's very it's very humid and moist in houston and the stucco really needs good pathway to dry out other deficiencies you see most often with stucco is whenever you have stucco to ground contact and this is another sign where we can tell that they've had issues in the past or they've been working on it or repairing the stucco i hope it shows up well in the camera drop in the comments if it doesn't but it's just something that you're you have to really focus on so you have right here zoom in if, as far as i can um so you got the laser pointer and you have the the patches in the the weep screen again and the paint and it's really hard to see but there is like lines where they've done some repair work and if you could see the lines i'm just going to follow it with the uh the laser pointer but it travels like the path of water so it starts small and then it widens as it goes down the pillar so there could have been a lee coming down the wall behind the pillar and the only way to test this is you have to drill it the company actually got out of uh, the drilling and testing of the stucco but there is a good company here in houston it's called stucco spec and uh, they, they do a pretty good job at inspecting stucco and giving you detailed reports on stucco other things you see this is typically on almost every inspection report but you have heavy foliage around the structure uh, if i can really get back here though it's kind of hard to see but um they have a lot of sprinkler heads spraying directly on the window and the um and the wall there and that actually that is one of the a number one cause of stucco water intrusion is sprinklers just spraying onto the wall and damaging it every day so it just it's a it's a little bit over a long period of time and that's what rots out a lot of stucco and causes people to have to repair it too okay so it was kind of hard to see from the exterior of all there on the pole but you can see here see how the stucco's flat 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 and then there's a bump right here 
that means they've had some sort of water intrusion around this architectural block. So you can see this, this bump right here. So what they do is they come in and they'll break away all the stucco, reseal it, and then repair any damage they have around the architectural block and then reset it. I've seen this uh, repair pretty often and it's so they don't have to repair the whole wall. They just repair and make sure that this wall is watertight again. Other thing too is whenever you can see like a lot of efflorescence, it could be from the sprinkler system obviously, but uh, they, it damages the tiles. So you want to keep an eye out for that uh, too as well and inform the client that they're going to need some repairs for the tile. So, so those are some minor finds, but when it comes to stucco uh, or some signs that, that it's been worked on the past, but the number one place that you're always going to find stucco damage almost every single time is on the balconies. And uh, check this out. This is exactly what you want to look for. And we have two balconies like this. So here you go. You see some water stains and you can see some discol uh, discoloration across the stucco and some different patterns indicating that there is water getting behind the stucco on the pan. Also, another th reason why we're talking about weep screeds, uh, why it's needed with stucco, a weep screed actually has to be along the base here on the balcony, just in case your pan starts leaking and it allows the water to, to flow out. I guarantee if we drill this stucco right here in this location, uh, you're, you're gonna find rot and uh, water intrusion in these locations and this is a difficult repair. Come through and they have to remove all the stucco in there and sometimes even reset the pan on the, uh, the, uh, the balcony too. And I don't know what the quote for that is, but it's, it's, it's not cheap. We, I don't like to normally give quotes for stucco because it fluctuates so much so often. And, um, and you know, one balcony you'll see only Right, you know, they'll quote only like 3,000, and then another company will come around and quote you 15,000. So, you know, just make sure that you get several quotes and that they're going to repair it properly. That's the biggest thing because balconies leak all the time. I'm headed to the other one right now. I'm right here underneath that balcony where I was talking about, and as you open up the closet here, you can see some water stains. So, we know further evidence that it's leaking, and we'll hit this with the thermal camera too. Another thing to keep an eye out for. Just still headed to the balcony, by the way. Still headed there. But we have, um, you can see here that we need, oh, never mind. It's there. <laughs> it just looks, it's a little hidden. Uh, kick out flashing. You need kick out flashing. That's technically the wrong kick out flashing. I'm actually even impressed that it's there. It should be at a, uh, <laughs> dang, I'm all over the place. Should be at a, a 45 degree angle. And, uh, um, you know, it's there, but it's diverting water behind, away from the stucco. But this is a, a very common place where we find rot and water intrusion on stucco is where the wall continues, the roof line stops, and that invites water intrusion in those locations, which it indicates rot most of the time. And I'll show you a spot to look for the rot too as well. Okay, here we have okay clearance uh, to the stucco. And what you wanna do is just kind of reach up behind the stucco and feel the, the backer board here. And just, you'll actually, it'll crumble underneath your hand and uh, um it's 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 fine uh there it was hard it's it's good this is what i was talking about with uh sprinkler, sprinkler spraying on the stucco walls number one cause for most uh, stucco damage actually is just excessive water over a long period of time and it, it'll get behind the stucco on the base there because you can see the foliage is high the the ground is high in these locations and the water will wick up behind the wall and rot out the uh, stucco wall. Hey, I finally made it to the other balcony and this is exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to balconies. This is an easy spot. I mean, we see this all the time in these locations. And uh, look, look right here. You have a lot of rust built up. You can see some bulging of the stucco. You start to see some dots in the location of the, ray, the rust of the lathe. Uh, rusting out and then you can see it over here too as well you can see the stucco starting to rot out behind the edge there you got some evidence of failing pan flashing some bulging some discoloration oh shoot I don't know if you saw that but a water drop actually just fell out right there so I bet this stucco is just soaked 
and here's a, a wider angle of it so you can see it from far away too as well and then let's come around the corner over here and yeah you can see some rust here in the corner so look at this yeah oh yeah water's just dripping dripping out of the stucco in this location so this whole balcony needs to be reset and redone and uh, it's not cheap you know so it's really good that they did this inspection yes this inspection's a little bit more expensive but these finds alone you're talking to probably minimum you know ten thousand dollars minimum of stucco repair so this it gets balconies just get so expensive to do uh, because they need so much flashing and so much water care and then also the risk of doing a balcony and the chances of it leaking again with warranty work is very high so that's the reason why balcony stucco repair is so expensive thanks and then it follows you can see a little bit of Oh, in the corner there. Yeah. Nice. Look, there's even uh, plants growing out of the balcony from the amount of moisture that this balcony is holding underneath the uh, tile there. So here's another spot here where I was talking about how the wall somewhat continues. You can see the kick. There's no kick out flashing in this location, and the flashing just kind of stops right into the stucco. Everything's been repatched and painted recently, so it really won't show evidence of, you know, where, but this would be an area where if you did a stucco inspection, they would definitely drill in this location to see if they have any uh, water intrusion behind the stucco. There's a likely chance that they, they'll pick up something or rot. I'm not trying to hate on stucco too much. There are some environments where stucco really does work. Just in Houston, it's so humid and wet. If it's not installed 100% correct, you're gonna get issues. Like, look at the house behind me, all stucco. Hey, uh, if you are purchasing a larger property and you're trying to get an idea of how much it's gonna cost to bring up to par or anything like that, I'm not saying it's not gonna require much effort, but I would recommend just going outside and looking at your HVAC condensers real quick. Man, the jets today are killing me. They're having some sort of training going on. But right here, you can see it. We have three condensers on this side and two of them. You can see that they're easily from 05 and we have one newer one. So with, you know, you already know that you have two out of your six condensers that need to be replaced just by, or not needs to be replaced, but soon to be replaced if you're purchasing this property. It definitely will fall on you as a homeowner, you know, because all they care about as a seller, is it working or is it not? But, you, but if you, you assume the property and you just assume it's older and be like, hey, it's working, I'd say you give that a summer or two, you're replacing your HVAC. Right, coming over here, you, you see, uh, see a few more. You got two more originals and one newer one. Leaves you with four, four original HVACs and two newer uh, HVAC systems. So you, you already know that you already have stucco issues and you're likely soon to be repairing your uh, HVAC system moving into the to this property. When we walked in this garage, we smelled like an electrical issue or you can smell like an electrical burning. And uh, whenever we opened up the, the panel, we know we tested it to see if it was charged or not. It wasn't. And uh, we scanned the, the wires for if uh, we had any overheating wires and we had one uh, main feed wire at 192 degrees which is pretty hot for the main feed and then when we scanned the outside box too as well through the metal you could see the box was pretty heated so we have some sort of major electrical issue on this uh property too as well that needs to be repaired okay check out this pool it's sweet i've never seen in an infinity pool like this uh it's looking pretty good but one thing you really want to notice with uh with any type of pool system is if you see a lot of bubbles in the lines it typically means that there's a seal broken there could be an underground leak where additional air is making it into the pool equipment and sometimes it gets pretty pricey to even locate where it is but most of the time I keep saying most of the time it's at the equipment and uh, they just need to replace some o-rings so a uh, little bit of pool repairs but overall this pool isn't too bad uh, most most of the work on it is going to be cosmetic with the tiles 
those tiles are known to fail pretty often. So this is why you run the equipment and let it run for a while. And I was talking about maybe a leak, underground leak or something like that with the plumbing equipment. We're running the blower system with the hot tub and we're seeing the hot tub consistently drop. So yeah, we have, we have a valve issue when it comes to the pool. You can see the hot tub continually drop as uh, we run the pool system. So it's a little shoppy. So yeah, just make sure you run things for an extended period of time. Don't just turn it on and then walk away. We always run the pool equipment for an ex extended period of time. Have you found it? It's overflowing now. Oh, we got a, we got a infinity ground pump. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's uh, our infinity overflow right here is starting to leak and, or start to begin to overflow in this location. So we know we have an issue with the valve system with the infinity pool. Okay, a quick close. If you are purchasing a bigger property, just know that it comes typically with bigger issues. All homes have issues. It's just a matter of what issues your home has. So don't ever come in just because the house looks really nice and clean inside that you're like, oh, there's not gonna be any issues with this. Hire a home inspector. The home inspector will find stuff, especially homes in the 15 to 20 year range, and especially in Houston with stucco. You, you're easily wear a place that you can negotiate on. I'm not saying don't purchase the property. I'm just saying come in with a, a budget to repair or understand that negotiation negotiations can get a little a little hectic there sometimes because you got a lot of money with a property like this and a lot of things to negotiate on and maintenance that needs to happen uh, for you to have less issues moving into the structure. So yeah, I hope you learned something. And please hit that like and subscribe button. That, that's how I know I'm doing a good job. And please leave comments so I can help create more content that you want, that you're focused on. All right, thanks, guys. See ya. Bye.